Okay, so at the PC, we're on the Radtel downloads. If you look here, there's a cable USB-C going to my PC. Go to the Windows squares here, right click Device Manager. Like so, get our COM port number. So look here on the left, scroll down until you see the word ports. Just ports here, double click. Scroll down, look, COM3. So we know our COM number. So we can now go to the Radtel site, you can see here. You do need to look up your serial number, there's two to use. And with my newer Radtel one, it's the bottom ones here, but the version looks the same, 1.13, although it shows up as 1.14. So I have already loaded it, but we're gonna do it anyway. So click here, upgrading firmware, and it will go to this zip here. Click the zip, and then you've got all your documents of the updates, but I just wanna show you how to upgrade it quickly. So double click upgrade, and then go more info when it does this. And you, it straight away gives you the upgrade sort of uh, program. So we need to select our COM3. And the firmware sort of built into this program. So what you now do is turn off the radio, hold down the PTT, and uh, turn it on. And the screen should go black, or on the older models, it goes white. So we'll turn it off. We're going to hold down PTT and turn on. And we now know we're in firmware mode. If we're not, it won't load it. So now we can just go update. There you are. It's about a 10 second pause and the green line fills. It's now gonna update the firmware. And I've done this so many times. It works well. So once we've done that, we're now gonna go back to the Radtel site and get the programming software and read our radio. And you'll see that the radio reboots and to look up your firmware you just go menu like so uh, select basic then go up up to version and we're on 1.14 there back with the, the the red orange button is basically back so that's fine so let's uh we know that's gone in good we still got the cable connected close this down now we're going to go to the programming software and the latest is just here look Programming software 1.06. So we're going to hit that. We get another download appear. Hit that. Yeah, we'll move that over here. And I'll put the link in the description, of course. Double click. Again, exactly the same to run the software more and then let it run. Like so. And it's actually opened straight away, hasn't it? So I have made separate videos on the software, but we'll just read the radio. So we'll go to port and then remember it's three, yes. And then we're gonna go up here, green arrow, read. And it's reading the radio. The radio screen ha actually hasn't changed, has it? <clears throat> Let that read live. So now the, go straight to channels, look. These are our channels using the first antenna, so we can transmit on these channels. Remember, it's, it is FM transmit only, but receive AM and SSB. And to put in a channel, look, for example, here we've got GB3 WR there that we put in, 145, 600. And then you want the transmit CTCSS, which says none, so we can put that in, drop it down. Oops, <laughs> 94.8. Uh, I'll do that to high power. And it is nearly 10 watts. Wide or, wide or narrow band. And then look, there's your name there. And it's, for, it, just make sure it does say RT here. If it doesn't say RT, it won't transmit. And you to do that, you just click here where it says reset or RTTX. That's it, really. Um, Import, what did that say? OP77. Not not sure that maybe that's a DMR thing. Not sure. Open GD77, but this radio is not DMR. Um, so, and there's the, if you want to look at this or sort of extended settings, that's all your APRS stuff. That's quite advanced. 
that's for another video which I have made. Uh, but then when it comes to the one that you will want to do is this one here, which is FM radio. Because on this one, you can change those names because you're going to have all Chinese here. So you can choose the bandwidth. So here we're up 2 to 30 megs. You have to choose that first because you might want to put something in a medium wave. And if you do, you have to choose the medium wave band range selection. And the mode is here. And uh, choose it. And this is crucially, this is where your name is. It doesn't know that you've put in 40 meters. All it knows is the frequency that you've typed. So if we go here, oh, that's your, sorry, that's your fine tune. I'm selecting the wrong one. Here's the frequency here 7.165, 80 meters, 20 meters, CB, broadcast, and then 10 meters. I've renamed these. All it knows really is that you what frequencies range and frequencies you've told it to use and step and all this this bit is just for you to recognize what you've done so that's how you're going to get rid of those chinese names when you press the bottom button on receive otherwise you've got your zones and so you can rename these zones as you can see here you can just click it and type a name and then what you do when you're on it when it's in blue you can then send, the middle section is every channel you've got on the radio. You can then send into your zone um, the channels that you want in that zone. So when you're changing zones, and you can do a shortcut to change zones on the radio, you, you know that it's not going to have every single memory channel. It's going to have the ones that you want. Okay, and that's the whole point of zones. Key define set self explanatory really you can set you know what the all the key buttons are going to do look we've got GPS monitor work range frequency spectrum radio we may as well use every one so I'll set that one for scan and I'll set number nine for squelch oh multi standby why not see this one here there is a selection where you can do multi PTT it means all three buttons will be PTT on the left side of the radio, but you will have to set a different button to start up the HF radio. Then you've got your, you know, hundreds of settings like the background color, the LCD, your beeps, um, and uh, whether you want to show frequency mode or frequency and channel, where you want to say show zone when it boots up, and you can select which channel it's going to do that with. Uh, UV repeater, I think, is crossband. I'm pretty sure that is. Alarm type in that beeps, scan direction up and down, frequency steps, denoise for is that for um, possibly for APRS? Save, I'm not really sure what save mode is. Display timer, we've got it on all the time. And when you've set everything you want to set, and there are a lot of settings here, just study them and learn from them. There's all this fine tuning here. See here in conf config two, this is all fine tuning. Yeah, you can actually increase the power a bit, but obviously. I don't recommend you mess with these settings, but it's there if you want to. And uh, it says here time and device. There's the device and the image, upload image as well. And when you import, it tells you what size that should be. Power on, names that you can put in some, I put in M0FXP ham tech. Read, write, and then you can go file and let's just, you can save, look. Save so you, you know all your settings are saved somewhere. You can bring them in by going file and then open. And I've got another shortcut to open here. Read and write, help there. So we go right now, write that to the radio. And it writes. So I think that's about it, really. Uh, so yeah, check out, make sure you watch the whole beginner's video. I made lots of videos. On, on different functions of this radio. Just remember that this radio is vast and anyone that complains about this radio is crazy because it's a bargain and it's the best budget radio and iRadio or Radtel I have ever used. Cheers for now, 7-3. Please remember to hit the like, subscribe.